Establishing an internet connection. The setting up internets option can be found from within the main menu under settings. So if I press F1, file manager, F. go to the file manager, I can down arrow, that is press space with dot four to move down through the list. Word processor, W. Or I can press the letter S to go straight uh, to the settings menu. Set time and date, T. And I hear that the set time and date is the first option in this list. I'll press down arrow again, space dot four. Set up internet, I. Set up internet. I'm going to go ahead and press enter on this. Wireless LAN 2 2 list item. And I hear wireless LAN 2 of 2. Now let me just go ahead and bail back out of this. I'm just going to press space with Z as in zebra. Set up internet I. To go out, out one level at a time. In fact, why don't I just press this, the uh, F1 key again? File manager F. Just to demonstrate that if I press the hot key to get into that same dialog, the um, network dialog, which is F3 with the letter I. Wireless LAN 2 2 list item. It brings me into that very same place. If I down arrow, space dot four. LAN 1 2 list item. I hear I've got an option called LAN. And that, of course, is referring to an Ethernet connection or a cabled connection. Um, of course, the Braille Sense does not have an Ethernet port on it, uh, but that doesn't really matter because uh, you can connect any number of devices uh, uh, that are available on the market, USB to Ethernet, or a hub, a uh, USB-C hub that has multiple connectors, including Ethernet. Uh, most of us are about our wireless access, though. Wireless LAN 2 2 list item. So I'm going to go up to the wireless LAN and press enter. Dog park, encryption, WPA2, sensitivity, excellent, connected 1 8 list item. And I Dog see park, I've got a network WPA2, at my home called Dog Park. Dog Park, encryption, WPA2, sensitivity, excellent, connected 1 8 list item. I hear that my sensitivity is excellent and that I am connected. I'm going to go ahead and tab through this dialog. Advanced backspace A, dialog button. Option, backspace O, dialog button. So F3, tab, space F3. Brings you back the other direction. Access point, drug park, encryption, advanced, backspace A, dialog And let's just go ahead and uh, get into the advanced options. Advanced dialog, profile, drug park, one, one, list item. Where I see I have my profile called dog park. So let's say you get into a situation where you've mistyped the network key. You've got the profile established, but it's not connecting to the network and you want to start again. Well, I can either tab through this dialog. Connect, backspace C, button, add, backspace A, dialog button. And here, connect, add. Remove, space D, button. And there's remove. Properties, backspace P, There's properties. Button. Close button. Close. Profile, dog park one, one list item. And I wrap back around to my list of profiles in which, uh, in this case, I've got one profile. And rather than having to tab over to that remove button, I could just press space with the letter D as in delete. Successfully remove profile. Profile, no items list item. And I hear I now have no items in list. So I'm going to uh, space F3. Close button. To backspace the close button. I could also press F4. Why don't I do that instead? Dog park, encryption, WPA2, sensitivity, excellent, connected 1-5 list item. And dog park, it, encryption, WPA2, sensitivity, dog park, encryption, WPA2, dog park. It took a, a second WPA2, for it to catch up and realize that it's no longer connected to dog park. And now I see that, um, it, you know, the type of network that it is, W. Dog park, uh, encryption, WPA2, WPA2, excellent, list item. Dog and that I have an excellent con reception, but I'm no longer connected. Dog so I'm going to press enter WPA2, on it. Network key dialogue. Network key, computer edit box. And I'm being prompted for a network key. So in my case, I've got a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. And of course, we can't stress the importance of knowing your network key. In a lot of cases, uh, for home network installations, the uh, internet provider will actually write this information in print uh, on the back of your, of your modem. So I'm going to go ahead and enter mine in here. And I'll press enter. Connecting to dog park. Okay, usually by default you would hear Connecting a bing, 
but in my case, rather than sounds, I have it set to the vibrate motor. So I did feel it vibrate to indicate that it was connected. And let's now go into the, uh, I hear that I'm connected, so I'm going to go into the advanced dialog. Advanced dialog. Profile, Dog Park 1-1 list item. We've got uh, profile is back again, one of one. Connect, backspace C, button. There's a connect option in case I wasn't connected yet. Add, backspace A, dialog button. Uh, add a connection. Remove, space Remove. D, button, properties, backspace P. And let's just button. go into properties here. This is where... Properties, dialog. Network name, SSID. Your button. network button. administrations are going to spend some time. Uh, I should say your network administrators are going to spend some time. Uh especially in a school setting or an enterprise setting and where they have perhaps have some special um, protocols that they need to observe security wpa wpa to personal combo box uh, so we've got a combo box here i'm simply tabbing through this dialog and i'm going to space stop forward down through this combo box wpa three personal combo box WPA, WPA, 2 WPA, 3 Enterprise Combo Box. Okay, and there's a, a WPA, 2 M WPA, 3 Enterprise option. WPA, 3 per WPA, WPA, 2 I'm going to go back box. to the one I know I need for my home network. Password, computer edit box. This is a password option. Show advanced options, check box unchecked. And by the way, if you've got a sighted network administrator, they can connect a USB-C monitor. Uh, it could be via a USB-C hub, uh, or uh, in which case you can also connect just an HDMI monitor or a smart TV. And they can also plug in a, a USB keyboard to control everything. Uh, of course, we do have support for wireless keyboards as well. Confirm button. Let's Show see. advanced options, checkbox on chat. Let's go ahead. And I, I tabbed and I, I heard... Confirm button. Confirm button. Let's shift tab, uh, space F3. Show advanced options checkbox on chat. And check this checkbox that says show advanced options. Show advanced options checkbox chat. Now I see that if I tab through here now. Proxy detect automatically combo box. I've got a bunch of Proxy, other none combo box. options that um, IP settings, DHCP combo box. may be necessary for your network administrator to get to. Privacy. Use randomized Mac. Default. Hidden network. No combo box. Confirm button. I'll press enter and confirm. Profile created successfully. Connecting to dog park. Connected to dog park. Profile, dog park 11 list item. And I hear that I'm still in my advanced dialog because I see my list of profiles in which there's only one item. Dog park, encryption, WPA2. So I pressed F4 to Connected back out to my list of available dog networks. Park, encryption, HP print 93 office jet 4630. There's my printer. Encryption, WPA2, and I'm done here. Most of us will be able to, uh, if we know our network key or password, um, most of us will be able to do F3 with the letter I. HP print 93 office jet 4600 and, and go into this dialog encryption WPA2 sensitivity find their network system. and then uh, type in our password followed by enter and away you go HP print 93 office jet 4600 I hope this uh, presentation WPA2, was wireless LAN helpful if you have any questions do feel free to reach out to our technical support staff at support at hims inkcom you can also reach the sales staff uh, creatively enough at sales at hymns inkcom Our web address is hymns inkcom and our phone number is 512-837-2000, option one for support and option two for sales. Thank you for listening.